Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox 2. Today we are going to be doing a few absolutely ridiculous collisions which have been tested before in streams, but we're going to redo in a video because there's some interesting things that happen with physics if you do things properly. And the first thing we're going to be doing is simulating something we've done before, which is hitting Earth with Pluto moving towards it at the speed of light but not just moving towards it going at a grazing shot so Pluto is going to hit Earth but it's going to keep going possibly through Earth oh geez Ugh. aiming this is so challenging okay, I think that's proper right there I think that'll work. That looks like it'll work fine. Now we just need Pluto to be going one light speed. And we're going to slow things down a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of bit. We're going to go slower than real time. Here we go. Here's Pluto. Pluto is doing perfectly fine at the moment. And it is going to continue getting closer to Earth. Again, a tiny bit of speed, but it's already going at light speed, so it doesn't make much of a difference. And it looks like we're going to hit right off of Alaska. Russia and Alaska are going to be the first to be completely obliterated in the explosion, which instantly heats up to the point where all of the material expands and a ton of debris is thrown out. We can already see the crater after a few seconds, not even seconds, after a few milliseconds, the top of the world is already flattened and molten. And here is Pluto, rolling through the Earth because of its higher density, and actually causing the Earth to spin because of the speed it has hit the top of the world. Now as Pluto spins ripping through the Earth, we're going to see a very interesting effect where it leaves a string of death through the, uh, it's going to leave a line here we're going to see in a second as it rolls through. Or maybe it's just going to roll on top. Normally what it does is it leaves a giant line of destruction, so we're going to see if it does it this time. But the Earth is spinning extremely quickly now more than once per millisecond okay we're starting uh, speed up a little bit more and more and more there we go Pluto is now moving so quickly as the earth spins that it is engraving a trench through the earth Imagine a f several mile long trench ripped through, not several mile, hundreds of miles long trench ripped through the center of Earth in a perfect line, which is actually full of molten lava as it continues to skid through and then it exits the Earth. At, let's see how fast Pluto's moving now. Compared to before, it is going at. It's still going at light speed. It did not slow down at all from that. But at the same time, if we go back to Earth, accidentally clicked off there, the Earth is now melting. Half of it's been completely destroyed now from the impact. Pluto is actually uh, doing pretty well. It's taken a lot of mass away from the Earth. It's actually now a seventh of an Earth in size, which means that it is still in a ton of mass. Why is everything so messed up? I'm having trouble maneuvering to things. Uh-oh. I think it's because they're just moving so fast. But overall, it looks like a lot of damage to everything involved. And let's see how Earth looks after it's done incinerating itself. And years and years later, thousands of years, heck, now it's probably like half a million years now and we're going to slow down now this is almost real time and here is real time 
So the Earth is spinning this quickly, so it would actually... It's spinning so quickly that it would look normal. Um, if you've ever seen a fluorescent light, they actually flicker extremely quickly, and if you use a slow motion camera, you can see that. And they give off the illusion of being lit the entire time, which allows things like big buildings to save electricity. But, uh, this Earth is spinning so quickly, I'm pretty sure that you wouldn't actually be able to tell. This is in real time, so I guess you might be able to see a little bit of a flashing, but I think the time at which it takes for the light to reach Earth, it doesn't actually... I don't think we'll actually see anything in that case. If we go a little bit faster, we can see at this point you can't actually tell the difference. So maybe you would see a little bit of flickering. It isn't quite that fast yet, but it's close. So at the same time, let's see the damage to the world. If we bring it to 50 degrees, let's quickly get rid of the epileptic earth over here. And we're going to actually have to go faster so that we can see the oceans come back. Right earth, there we go. What is different? Now, first off, it is spinning in the complete wrong direction, which makes this a little bit hard to, to... Oh, America is actually gone. Or actually, the East Coast and West Coast are pretty fine, but Central America is pretty much gone. A bit of the Louisiana purchase. And... Europe and Russia are pretty much gone. Africa has a little bit cut off the top. Something looks slightly odd about Saudi Arabia. Everything else seems pretty normal, except there's now a ton of extra land under China actually connecting it to the Philippines. Japan is broken up. Yeah, so a lot of things are just slightly different, but not completely destroyed. I think life is going to come back any- never mind. Never mind, that's not happening because there's no sun to warm it up. So that was our first crazy explosion. But now what we're going to do is we're going to test with a very, very small star against Jupiter. Because occasionally, this actually turns out extremely interesting. Okay. So if we go, we're going to have to make this ourselves. Let's use Earth. Shush charm. Shush. What we're going to do is we're going to go to moons. We're going to set it to 50 million. And now we have a very small, cold sun. And by cold, 15 degrees. Very cold. The temperature of Earth. Now we're going to put Jupiter down. And we're going to let them collide and see who wins. Let's quickly let Charm down so she stops annoying me. Come on, Charm. Let's go. Meh. Meh. There you go. Okay, so, continuing. Let's see what happens. Here comes Jupiter towards, uh the star that is now Earth, and who will win this battle? So Jupiter is going in, and it's going to hit any second now. But look at what happens, so much debris as it instantly becomes a star, it ignites, and Jupiter just gets absolutely annihilated in a very laggy giant orb of brightness and death. Okay guys, let's see what the, well, result of this is. So, Earth is now expanding much larger than it originally was, and expands even more. And by the end, it is, let's see, in relation to the sun, it is two times as wide as the sun while its mass is only less than one. So that's all to do with density, so it's nothing extremely special, but it's still an interesting reaction to such a small object hitting it. 
if we hit it with another Jupiter, the same reaction does not occur, uh, probably because of the strange state the star was in before, and now it's in a normal uh, star state, so it no longer is affected. Much more stable now. But guys, I want to thank you all for watching this video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. We are getting very close, uh, close to 20,000 subscribers, so make sure to join now before uh, it's too late. After like a million, then the channel will be so big it won't be uh, it won't be cool to be on the uh, hype train yet. So make sure to sub while you can while it's still cool. See you all.